All right, so all we really need to do now is get the top and bottom sorted and then get this UV'd and into Substance Painter. So I think to start we need to get rid of this uh, lattice or apply it. I'm just going to hide it for now. And I'm going to not do that. Definitely not that. Okay, I'm going to set its origin origin to geometry. Hmm. Right, that might have been messing with our Displace modifiers, having our transforms not applied. So those are applied now. Go us. Now, one thing I want to do is I want to shift the lid around a bit. Like maybe... Yeah, like kind of like this, maybe. So I'm going to go into a top down view. And I'm going to see if I can come in here and position this in a, in a way where it. sort of matches up here. Like I want to seal it, but I don't want like the planks to disappear into the into this thing. Hmm. I also I, I don't want everything to like match up too perfectly either. So that that is another consideration here. What am I grabbing? Like, is that good? I think that's good. Oh, not all that. All right, I'll put that one in there. Maybe that one can go like to there. And this one can go like up to here. And there. Hopefully this all looks pretty good once we're done. Alright, I think one thing I'm going to do now is play with the sort of overhead in the middle here.
Mm. All right, I'm going to say not bad. Not bad, us. All right. So I think next step is I want to expand this middle layer out. So we definitely get a seal. That's kind of our goal here. We definitely want a seal. All right. I think that's pretty a-okay. So, okay, now I'm going to duplicate this and bring it down. And I want to flip this, so Y180. And that should, yeah, the UV seams are going the other way now. Forget control numpad seven is bottom. Okay. I rarely ever try to look up from the bottom at something. But yeah, the planks are different down here, so we need to I wonder is there some can we fit this on and get it pretty close some way. Like, how does this fit pass? I might come at from this angle. All right. So now that we got it here, and you can kind of see the our main plank and that weird middle thing we've got jotting out from it. And we just want to carefully adapt our mesh here. Can't really, yeah, I guess that's, that's good. Maybe I'll push that. Actually, I'm going to push this in a little. Hmm. It's hard for me to tell with some of these, like how far in are they? How far in should they be? But I think that that's going to be it. Okay. I think that's good enough. I am, I am liking this. All right, so I guess one thing we should do is we need to make sure everything is like sorted so metal bands make a new collection metal nails i guess I'm not really sure they're nails i don't i'm not like a barrel maker or anything i don't know exactly but i think that looks pretty nice Hmm. 
Yeah, I'll just delete that lattice. And is this the... I want to find... Yeah, there's the cube. That... Oh, wait. Yeah, we, we still have our array modifier on this barrel plank here. Barrel plank main. I'll call this barrel main. I'll put this in here. And I am going to apply this modifier now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll apply the mirror modifier too. Because we're going to want it set up like this so we can UV it correctly. All right, so modifiers are applied. Hmm. Actually, I take that back. Before I apply these, I'm going to undo some stuff because I want to make a backup, essentially, of all of this in case I want to go back and tweak it later. Yeah, get rid of key. Forget I actually need that again. All right, so this is going to go in barrel top. And barrel bottom. Okay. And now, uh... Now the fun stuff's going to begin. We're going to have to break everything apart. And... Yeah, and we're going to need to... Name everything, so... Maybe... Mm, yeah, we're going to have to break everything apart and set up uh, some ma materials and get like a high poly version so we can bake our color ID map inside the substance. So I guess I'll start with the barrel bottom here. Or actually I'm not going to do that. I am going to make our mm, what am I going to do? Yeah, I'll call this backup. I'm just going to put everything in it. This is our backup. Then I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to call this export. And now, now I'm going to select this. And I'm going to separate by loose parts. I'm actually going to call this export low. This is going to be our low poly export. And so these should all be pretty much good to go. Although... I mean, we might want to play with, like, maybe some of these boards could be closer. Maybe we could play with the uh, displacement, actually. Make sure that's working again. Like, that is way too... Like point oh one maybe. Point oh three, that's way too much. Point oh two. Yeah, maybe point oh two.
Yeah, so we can have that noise applied there. But I'm going to worry about, like, final touch-up later. I'm going to batch rename these to... going to set to set name, new name, barrel, barrel plank, bottom. And that was going to go through and then one, two, three, add all these numbers. And then I'm going to come in and add the suffix underscore low. And let's go to the top. Going to see about re-enabling our noise. I'm going to use Alt-Enter. Although I haven't separated these, actually. I could have just... That's not necessary, but if you didn't know, Alt-Enter lets you bulk apply changes to objects in Blender. It's pretty handy. But alright, let's uh, separate this by loose parts. Select them all, Control F2, New, Barrel plank top. Yep, yep, yep. And new suffix. Underscore low. Alright, and now we got the barrel main. And here we need to apply the array modifier. And apply the mirror. Delete that one cube. Need to come in. And we need to separate by loose. Which actually seems to... I don't know how to do that. That really made, I believe, the simple deform modifier begin to behave rather differently. Maybe we should apply that first. Separate by loose. Okay, yeah. Now that modifier isn't twisting them all individually. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, these already all have the barrel plank main name. They're all numbered correctly. So I'm just going to come in here into the bulk, add the suffix of low to them all now. Here we've got all our nails. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to set to new, call it nail, nail. All right. And, uh, the reason I'm doing the suffix later is because I believe Substance Painter needs the underscore low to be the last thing. And if I just named it nail underscore low, it would end up being nail underscore low dot oh one oh two oh three and so on. And uh, we don't we don't want that. So, metal band, and then I'm going to add the suffix, underscore low. Alright, very good.
Now I'm going to select everything. Go into edit mode. This should all have seams that are pretty serviceable. I don't know, we might need to apply some of these modifiers. Might need to apply some of these scales, actually. I think the spheres still have, like, uh, they're, I don't believe their scales applied, so they're taking up way too much space. Okay, this is looking more reasonable. I don't like that these boards here are rotated like this. I'd like all our boards to be the same direction, so I'm actually going to see if I can rotate these and Now, how best can I fit these back in here? I believe these are actually like the back sides of boards, which I, I don't particularly care about as much. So like if I end up having to, just to make it all fit, I might just make those a much smaller scale. Rotate that by 90. Put that there. Yeah, I'm just gonna end up scaling these down just so I can fit these in here real quick. All right, and hopefully all this is fine. I don't know, the metal bands, because of the solidify modifier, I feel like we might need to apply that. Can't, I can't, I'm not really sure how that's going to turn out, but uh, we'll see. For now, I'm going to, now that this is all set up, I'm going to duplicate it, call this our high export, and I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to do a, well, they have a find and replace. So I'm going to find underscore low and replace with underscore high. Now, why would you name it? Why have they done that? You don't need to... Uh, it's because... Uh, nope. And I thought I was being very clever, but... Hmm. Strip digits from the end? Ah, oh, no way. That works. Okay. Yep, yep. All right. Set name. Now find and replace. Low to high. And I'm going to strip characters. Uh, punctuation from the end. Okay, so now all the names should match. Mm -mm. Okay, so now... Hmm. Somewhat... 
somewhat painful now. We need to apply some materials. So we need like a new material. We need a, a metal to make it red. Set our material view. Mm -hmm. But if you select it all and you, oh yeah, you need to like apply it, then you can hit Control L materials and that'll apply it to all the objects. Because really, all we're trying to do is I want to separate the wood from the metal for now. That's uh, kind of it. Might. No, I actually want that default material, actually. Wood. And make it blue. You, yes, you should be blue. Okay, so now we've got our high and our low. And I think I'll actually end the video here real quick and export it into substance in the next one.